So spring break is right around the corner, and it is the perfect time to dive into a brand new book. We have two best-selling authors here to suggest your next favorite read wherever your spring vacation may take you. Brad Thor is the author of 18 novels, including the upcoming Spy Master this July. And Harlan Coben is the author of 30 books. And his 10-part TV series, The Five, is now on Netflix, which is awesome. Welcome to you both. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. It's great to see you guys. All right, so... Welcome to my patio. We're on the patio furniture now. Nice We're going to start with the beach read. The beach read. Everybody's got to pick. Brad, let me start with you. All right. So this is How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. And this is a story about someone who has this interesting condition where he cannot die. But he has to keep moving or else people are going to figure out what's going on. And there's a society that keeps him safe. And there's one rule. You cannot fall in love. And so this guy is trying to live without love and realizes that maybe it's not worth living if yeah. I can't fall in love. It is fantastic for men and women alike. Sounds like Great hell. Book. All right, Harlan, how about you? And you can't have anything caloric. <laughs> I am picking Anna Quinlan's Alternate Side, which actually comes out today. I so, love Anna Quinlan. Well, that's really it. I'll be honest with you. I haven't even read this yet, but when Anna Quinlan's name is on it... It's time to read. We just read it. Yeah. This one is about um, a marriage gone sour. and But you know what I love about her is her voice. You yep. know, if you read her... You can read her essays, you read her books. I'd read her grocery list. You Short know I mean? Guide to a Happy Life is my favorite book. It's yeah, so great. So, when you're with Anna and you're in her head, she's just one of my favorite authors. It's time and, well spent. And so that's why I could Sold. not resist. All right, suspense thriller. This is something these two guys know a thing or two about. So take these seriously here. All right, so this is probably one of the best debut thrillers I've ever read. It's oh. called The Terminal List by Jack Carr. He is a Navy SEAL who became an author. And I'm an author who wants to be a Navy SEAL. I did it in the wrong, <laughs> in the wrong order. But this is a fabulous... If you loved Clancy or Ludlum or Ian Fleming... You will go nuts over this Page book. Turner. It's that good. Oh, the strong recommendation, yeah. Harlan. Do you feel as lovingly about oh, yeah. Sue Grafton's Much book? Much more. As... Come oh. on. <laughs> this is Sue Grafton, who passed away in December. For those who don't know, Sue wrote yeah. the fantastic Alphabet series featuring Kinsey Milhone. It ends at Y. The Alphabet now ends at Y. She's a dear friend. I think, the, I think probably the most influential mystery writer of the last 50 years, I wow. would say, Sue Grafton. And this is as great as any. You're going to spend time with Kinsey Milhone. If you're fortunate that you haven't yet discovered her, go back and start with A.S. for Alibi. But every one of Sue's books is a joy. I'm so sad we're not going to have any more. But take Sue with you to the beach. She'd be really appreciated. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she would. All right, what she about would. young adults? Something to read with your kids. I'm actually in that phase with my 8-year-old right now. Okay. Well, this is perfect because The Serpent's Secret is great for 8 to 12-year-olds. Parents will love this book. It's not only action from page one, but it's very, very funny. It is about a girl who thought her parents were always teasing her that they came from a different place. And one morning on her 12th birthday, she's making uh, breakfast. Her parents parents have disappeared and a demon comes running into the kitchen trying to eat her and that just sets oh. off everything in oh, the wow. Serpent's Secret. It's actually a really Took a turn great there. book. A really great <laughs> book. Okay. And great female heroine too, but boys will like her as and well. And I love the jacket. Okay, how about you, young adult? Uh, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. No one eats anybody in this book. It's <laughs> really disappointing. And by the way, you know, you just had a, a, a segment on happiness. Reading a book. I mean, that's the simplest one, isn't yeah, it? Right, right there. It's a beautiful thing. Truly Devious is a. It's a great because it's a mystery that takes place in two different time periods. It's a, a. I love my one of my favorite things in books is old private schools. So it's an old secret private school in 1934 that a kidnapping and a murder. Oh. And now today, one of the students is trying to solve that crime, and someone else ends up dead. And it goes twisting and turning. Plus, Maureen is very, very funny. She's got a great voice. The only caveat is it's one of three, so you're going to be held on a cliffhanger at oh. the end of it. Oh, that's but it's good. really good. I can't believe, really I also good. love old private schools. Like, I, but I didn't even know it until you just said it, you know? Like... <laughs> The cold, I think they're called the, oh, Elling, the Ellingham Academy in Vermont. Is where yes, book I'm in. Place. Okay. Yeah. Uh, coming to the big screen. Everybody wants to know what books are so good they were made into movies. Okay, so this is The Girl in the Spider's Web, and it takes over with the girl uh, with the dragon tattoo character. Yes. So this is the first by David uh, Lagerkrantz, who's writing for Stieg Larsson. And I know you like Claire Foy from yep. uh, The Crown, who yep. plays Queen Elizabeth. She's actually starring as the hacker, Salander, mm -hmm. in this. And it's all about how the reporter uh, gets a tip that some information has been hacked that the United States needs, and they jump in, and it twists and turns and spies. It's fantastic, and you got to read it before the movie comes out. Okay. Harlan? Uh, Red Sparrow uh, by Jason Matthews. You've probably seen some of the ads now. Jennifer Lawrence mm -hmm. is making the movie. Great CIA, great kind of spy story. It's kind of John Le Carre meets 
a younger, better looking Brad Thor. <laughs> no, it's a, it, it, you would love that. You, you know, this is your kind of thing. Yeah, Brad. it definitely is. A lot of buzz on this book. Oh, and there's a lot of every. No one is what they appear to be. A lot of double agents. A lot of twists. A lot of danger. A lot of sex. But it's really kind of a cool story. Yeah, okay, kind All of right. a cool story. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll recommend Doug's book, Trophy Son, because that's, that picks up on what Elena was saying about the pressure we put on our kids to yeah. succeed. There's no at questions. All. You know, Trophy Son by Doug Brown was one of my favorite books of, of last year. Aww. I know. Uh, well, I said that before this segment. But, yeah, that's true. Uh, I would definitely go out and, and, and get that, that one. My husband is also yeah. an, an author. So, yeah. you guys, thank you so much. And then, if you want to know what these last two are, tune in to our website because we've got a little list for you of oldies but goodies. That's today.com slash Megan Today. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.